Hello, everyone. I'm Jason, the Wizard of Ops. In December 2023, the Volan team released a white paper called The Impact of Option Dealer Flows on Equity Returns. The point of the paper was to show the current options environment and to identify how dealer hedging flows impact underlying stocks. We used SPX data as our underlying primarily because of the high notional value of the options traded daily on it and the availability of the data, thanks to the CBOE data department. Additionally, we looked at some zero DTE metrics and drew some conclusions based on zero DTE volume data. The purpose of this video is to call out the scientific actionable findings of the paper. Overall, the paper is an excellent read to understand how we got to where we are today. The introduction talks about the options landscape and the history of dealer positioning theses. We then talk about who the option dealers are in the second section. In the third section, we discuss the Black-Scholes option pricing model and its derivations, also known as the Greeks. All of these are discussed in detail in other videos, so we won't step through it today. The next section talks briefly about how we make volin data without going into the proprietary aspects of the calculations. We use the OPRA data feed to consume every single option trade. We use a modified Black-Scholes option pricing model and determine fair value then compare the execution price to that value and determine if dealers are buying or selling those options. We aggregate the dealer position and calculate the Greeks on the net positioning of each strike. I also won't go into the ground rules and assumptions in this video since that is getting a bit into the weeds, but they are important to read to understand the scope of these results. Now time to get into some of the findings of the paper. The first finding was well established in numerous academic papers and that is the famous spot vol correlation. This shows that there's a strong inverse correlation between the daily returns of the CBOE VIX index and daily percentage of SPX returns. While this relationship is known, it isn't known why it exists in this way. There are several theories offered, including a skew factor that always artificially applied or put traffic intensifying when the market drops, but neither of those theories are backed by any data. Move forward one section in the paper, and we see that there is a strong correlation here between changes in notional volume vega and daily market returns. Further, this correlation has close to the same correlation coefficient as the spot vol correlation, just with the opposite sign. This is quite significant and implies that the dealer's aggregate vega imbalance is a major indicator of the expected spot vol correlation. Considering that a lot of longer tenor customer positioning is a bearish collar hedging a long portfolio, it makes sense that the spot vol correlation would be consistent and inverse. More research would be needed to validate this hypothesis since right now this is more of a case of where there's smoke, there's fire, but this finding would be pivotal. From a trading standpoint, this means you can use volin data to see if options are over or underpriced. We have observed that on strikes with large imbalances, that implied volatility tends to break from its typical spot vol correlation. This would be the reason why. The next finding that has major impact is the correlation between delta hedging requirements and daily market moves. With the advent of zero DTE options, this correlation has become tougher to maintain, and the R-squared is actually lower than that of the Vega hedging correlation to market moves. This correlation, though, is no surprise, since most basic dealer hedging activity is to delta or gamma hedge a position, and this validates that activity. The intersection of these two correlations ports directly to VANA as a point of interest. VANA is the cross derivative of implied volatility and delta, measuring changes in delta based on changes in implied volatility or changes in vega based on movements in the underlying. This makes VANA the Greek that describes the skew. In equities, realized volatility tends to decline in closer tenors, except when it doesn't, but this is shown in the implied correlation curves on a typical vol plane. That dynamic, along with positive VANA, creates a gradual release of bearish hedges on the dealer side, particularly on tenors close to expiration. The practical implications of this are twofold. First, it implies that aggregate VANA trends will lead gradual movements in overall market flows from dealers. Second, it also means that using volin data, you can identify imbalances that would cause more seismic movements in volatility as it relates to market movement 
and areas where realized volatility would be suppressed. We made a first attempt to show this in this white paper in the section called the Vanek Stochastic, but ultimately we will issue another white paper mathematically showing the connection between aggregate Vanek and market movements sometime in the future. The next finding is talking about gamma. There is a popular belief that gamma hedging is a major dealer driver of market movements, particularly in times of stress. This is shown as gamma exposure or JEX. And the hypothesis is that as gamma exposure declines, markets get more volatile. Logically, however, this doesn't make much sense since gamma is the delta sensitivity to underlying movements. So higher absolute gamma should mean more delta hedging, which should mean more market movements. Indeed, the data does show a correlation, but not as you would expect. The correlation is inverse, showing that the more gamma hedging required is inverse to the actual market movement. This validates the theory that volatility moves the markets more than gamma. The story behind gamma hedging makes sense and easy to understand, but this data speaks the cautionary tale of believing stories without data. Data will make you money, while stories will just sell subscriptions. In the next section, we show results of different zero DTE paradigms. For more information on this section, please refer to the zero DTE videos. I will mention that the zero DTE data used here is over a shorter time frame when daily options began to rise in popularity. Since this time, there have been expansions to the rubric used to measure zero DTE within Voland. And with the popularity of these options, there have been many changes in how zero DTE options are traded. It is a consistently evolving field. Keep checking in to get the most up-to-date research and understanding in this pivotal sector. In conclusion, it is clear from the data, both on a daily and intraday time frame, that option dealer hedging is a major driver in market movements. Flows from option dealers have become more pertinent as option volumes have increased in recent years. Disagreements on how to estimate the dealer book have hampered this level of data analysis in the past. However, as seen throughout the paper, Voland is a strong indicator of the Greek positions in the option dealer book. The data clearly shows compelling correlations using aggregate Greek positions and the hedging associated with them. As assumptions increase in data analysis, so do the outliers and exceptions. To achieve this level of granularity in the option dealer book estimate, trade level categorization with Voland specific aggregations and calculations is necessary for accurate observations. This paper took a long time to write and validate, which was only exceeded by the time it took to make the data. So I would be remiss not to thank Michael Shields and Max Turnquist of Orium LLC for your brilliance in quantitative development and partnership in bringing Vol into life. Hunter Edmonds for your data analysis and development of charts and figures. And Paul Choi, David Olson, Mark Phillips, and Henry Schwartz for your critical review and commentary on the ideas presented herein and Jill DiLorenzo for your careful editing and formatting of this paper. Thank you for watching and may Valen help you in your future trading ventures.